What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We're now on the latest version, version 10.2, and big congratulations to all of you out there with 100 out of 100 safety scores. I don't know how you did it, but you did, and uh, those people are getting added over the coming days and weeks. So if you didn't get it yet, uh, keep, you know, keep driving safe, whatever that means. <laughs> um, and uh, it will come soon. The rollout will continue. I don't think it'll be long until um, it's going to more and more people and that won't be as important. So I've done a tiny bit of driving so far today, but we're uh, just really testing it out now. And I'm going to give you my initial impressions and everything. Um, but there are some new things, some really cool new things. So first of all, if you've been watching, you know that there's a camera above the rear view mirror and it you know watches the driver and can give you some alerts if you're looking at your phone or something. Well, I've always had that covered throughout um, the beta and now you cannot cover that. So when I started driving, I actually couldn't turn the beta on and I was like, hmm, what's going on? And I tried to turn it on, I got this message, I'll show you a screenshot. Um, and it said, you know, the camera cabin, the cabin camera is blocked or blinded, please, you know, fix it. And so I fixed it and then I was able to turn it on. I was like, oh, that's really cool. That's a great safety improvement. But what if I just cover it after the fact? And no, I covered it and a few seconds later, got the warning on the screen that said take over immediately and I had to drive again. So um, that's a really cool improvement. I was hoping we'd get a little less, you know, hands on the wheel um, uh, before we had something like that. Uh, but uh, that's that's what it is now. I, I think it's really great that, that Tesla has, uh, has included that. Um, so those are nice on top of that. Uh, I did notice, and I'll try to recreate this, although my phone is recording the screen, so uh, I don't know how, I don't really want to mess with it because I don't want the wires to come loose, but um, I did also see a message. I was at a red light, I looked at my phone, um, the light turned green, and I got the double beep, like the pay attention noise, uh, and it said, please pay attention to the road. So that's new as well, very cool, really happy to see that. It didn't bother me while the light was red, but the second the light turned green, it knew what I was doing and, and told me to pay attention, so very cool. Um, Another thing that's new here that I've seen um, from Jeremy Judkins, the windshield wiper fluid will go on its own. The car will wash off the windshield by itself without uh, me doing anything. So hopefully we can recreate that as well. My cameras are clean right now, but we may or may not see it. I can uh, just insert a clip or a screenshot from him. Um, so yeah, we're going into downtown Ann Arbor to check this out. Uh, I also want to know, you know, let me know how beta is going for you if you just got it. Um, I've heard, you know, some funny things. People are surprised at how aggressive it can be. Um, so like that move, that right turn, moving in the lane was perfect. Uh, the takeoff, sometimes the acceleration's a little aggressive uh, in a good way, um, which is great. I really enjoy, but it can catch you off guard. This is a totally different beast than the public build of autopilot autopilot and full self-driving in the way, uh, how free it is, how it moves around, just kind of having to get used to just not, you know, doing too much uh, is much different. So uh, I've set up kind of a pre-planned route here that I think I'll be able to repeat through Ann Arbor. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take, so it might take a little tweaking over, you know, the days and weeks coming ahead. Uh, but we're going to go through. I did this uh, once before and it was hard. There's a lot of people, a lot of pedestrians. So um, we'll see that really soon. And I will say my experience with 10.1 was not very good. So I'm hoping that version 10.2 is much, much better. But uh, let's get into a little bit of the busier stuff and we can talk more about that. So that was a really, really good right turn on red. All right, so as we make this left turn, not the most graceful. Yeah, it kind of switched lanes at the last second there. Um, that's one that got messed up before. So we need to uh, switch to the next area here. 
And uh, another couple couple other things that uh, that <laughs> are new here. So the beta testers do have a safety score. Now I had to reset my app. I had to force close my app like two or three times before it would show up. Uh, so far, mine doesn't look too good. <laughs> uh, that's uh, I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, of course, I take over sometimes uh, with beta, but I do let it do a lot of the driving. So we'll have to see how that changes over time, especially now that I'm aware of it because I wasn't really thinking about it. Also, this uh, car graphic here is definitely different. I don't know if I'd call it better. From the back here, it looks very dark and there's not many, it's kind of hard to see the details. Um, but when I spin around and maybe zoom in here or when I'm in park especially, it does actually look really nice. So um, I don't know exactly what's different, but it definitely looks uh, different than it used to. So that was not very good. <laughs> it like almost like was gonna miss that right turn. Um, I have a laptop in, <laughs> in my side seat there. Um, it like was gonna miss that right turn and was like, nope, we're not missing it and, and took that really, really hard. So uh, if that was on the safety score, obviously that would have been no good, um, but I don't think it counts when the car's driving. Uh, for, I, I don't know that much about the safety score because we haven't had it yet. Um, I tried to read you know, a little bit about it, but um, yeah, so that was a, a it did it. <laughs> So stopping here, the person to our right was here before us, and a little bit of moving up. Obviously it's going to wait though, and then it continues through. So the person to our right is still blue and to the left, even though we're of course not yielding for them and we shouldn't. So I still, yeah, the blue is, is a little confusing. Um, so here's where it's going to start getting a lot busier, and I think this truck is trying to get out here and Beta is just being super rude, but I'll act as if I don't realize that he's going, and now he moves. And beta is there. Now he's dark gray. So beta is waiting for him. I didn't do anything there. Um, I, of course, if I was driving, I would not have pulled up next to him like that. Okay, <laughs> it's going to move forward. There you go. Just keep him tracked. Yeah, so it's getting confused by him being off to the side there. Um, so waiting for our turn, which this white car should go before us. Now we got a pedestrian. So yeah, this is where it gets really busy. We're kind of in the crosswalk, which is um, rude and not good. We're waiting for this guy to the left, I suppose, the person across from us. I, I'm not sure if we were there before them or not, and I guess we're going, so that works out. And yeah, okay, so I think we were there before them, but honestly, there were so many pedestrians and things I did not even see. So in that situation, if I was driving, I, I, I probably would have went because they didn't seem like they were really gonna go. Um, I probably would have gone, there you go. Um, but I would have also been looking for hand signals, either them to wave me or me to wave them or something. This does not seem like a very good place to have stop signs. Uh, so we definitely were next. This cyclist, though, is uh, going in front of us. Red car takes advantage of that. We do have a pedestrian that's about to enter the crosswalk, so we need to wait for them. And now we should be good after she clears it. And very nice. Moved through there really assertively, uh, really good. So tight street here. We need to... Oh man, I would go slower than this, but okay. <laughs> it handled it great. Uh, that was really good. So somebody parking here, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Little of a hard break. I would not have braked anywhere near that hard, but that's all right. Looks like the car's kind of taking into consideration the, the bikes off to our left and everything. So we're moving forward here. I'm not sure if that truck is done parking or not. But we stop at that four-way stop and then continue through. Wow, really good. Really, really good so far. I'm really liking uh, how it's driving. This is great. So again, really tight here. See how it handles this. And does it fine. So I'm going to move over for him. And then, wow, we're a little close to that car. But uh, it did go past it, no problem. Uh, it gave us room. And I think the cyclist kind of freaked it out, so it hit the brakes there. That was really good. And, you know, the ultrasonics are really good at those, those slow and close maneuvers. Um, so I'm actually just going to tap the brake here so I can change the route without having to think the car's going to move. Um, so this is our next spot here. So that is not really a disengagement. That's just me uh, rerouting. I'm sure the car would have been fine there. So here we go. There's nobody to the left, and I think the car knows that. So we're moving ahead. Wow, very cool. 
<laughs> wow, this is really good. I mean, 10.1 was very bad for me. Um, I made a couple of videos about it. I tweeted about it. I uh, just, I don't know. This is way better so far. So we are breaking a little too far back here. Um, we need to turn right up here. I think the cyclist is confusing it a little bit. Yeah, way too slow. I'm surprised nobody's honking at us. All right, we're at least out of the way now. Yeah, you're good. You're safe. <laughs> yeah, it's the, I, I don't know. I assume it's the cyclist that's messing it up, but it's going way too slow. There we go. So finally speeding up. These little pillars in the road. Yeah, it wants to go around the cyclist. Yeah, that was <laughs> not going to be good. It like it was kind of sacrificing the cone for the cyclist. I don't know why it's it's needs to um, move so far away from them when they're in their own lane. That's good. Yeah, change lanes. That that's a lot better. So we had to disengage there. I'm pretty sure it was going to go right into that sign. And boom. So we slam on the brakes there. It did seem like. He, wow, that person ran a red light. It, I, I disengaged there because the car started to move forward a little bit. It di did seem like he was going to walk out in front of us, and that's what I thought as well. Um, but then he stopped, and the car saw that and also kind of slammed on the brakes there um, so that, you know, he could go. I'm kind of glad he hesitated, though, because that car to my right ran the red light. Okay, so we got a green light here, although cyclist is in the road. I think they were supposed to wait their turn, but that's all right. Um, and now we have a cone in the road because there's a truck kind of blocking part of the road. Let's see if the car can handle that. It is trying to change lanes, so that's good. There's a lot of traffic over there, though, and I just don't think it's going to be aggressive enough to do it. And, okay, yeah, it moves over, and other people give us a <laughs> Yeah, that was super rude. It just, like, changed. like, I'm changing lanes. I don't care what you want. Um, and, yeah, so that's not good. And then we have some police... It looks like they're closing off the road here, so I'll probably take over. Oh, no. Nope. Will I? It's not. Okay. This is good. Go ahead, get over. It's not really worth it for me to, you know, interact with police in that way. It's just not safe. So hands on the wheel. The car did handle that, though. Slowing down, and we need to turn left here, so can it now cut back over into the left turn lane? You can do it. Little little hesitation. Wow, very cool. Oh my gosh, that was really good. That was really good. I wasn't looking at the screen, so I don't know if it had a message about police. I would assume it did not. But it obviously saw those cars parked in the road, whatever they were, police or whatever, and, and went around them. Excellent. Turns green, immediately begin to make the turn. And that was awful. I'm not sure why it went there. <laughs> We've made that left turn before. Uh, and it wants to go to the wrong side. So no good, unfortunately. And you know, that's why it's still beta and everybody needs to be careful. But I think uh, just like, you know, I do keep your hands on the wheel. You're not, it's not gonna do anything you don't let it is, is what I always say. So I think we should be okay with all of that, but really bad mistake, especially on a left turn <laughs> after the, the drive has been so impressive. Um, you know, a few weird moves. The drive has been very impressive though with the more complex maneuvers. And you get something stupid like that, especially on a turn that we've done multiple times before. I mean, I've done that turn on and off video multiple times and it's never done anything like that so um yeah moving around this dumpster and we're about to get to our destination we have toyota research institute self-driving car it says waiting for our turn let's see two self-driving cars confused by each other <laughs> and now now it goes give him a thumbs up nah he's not looking dang it <laughs> that was so funny okay so we're here let me put one more destination i gotta cut Okay, so I took over there because we had our right turn signal on and it was missing the turn and we're by the police station, so I don't want to really deal with all that. <laughs> um, so let's see, I'll let it reroute here. Okay. So now we're going to go. Um, that's, I'm going to kind of wrap up the video here, I believe. Um, we'll see if there's any more cool maneuvers, but overall really good um still you can see some mistakes which is not surprising at all it's a beta it's only out to still a limited number of people this is a one-way road so we don't have to worry about people from the left only the right um but overall man some of those more complex maneuvers all right we're good let's go were really impressive and really good so finally moving out when it's safe um and then you get some dumb stuff you know mixed in there too like that really hard right turn was pretty crazy uh i haven't had much like that 
and then yeah moving that left turn at the end there was really bad as well so um overall yeah really enjoying it i'm glad that it's it's rolling out to people i hope you all are enjoying it those of you that did get it let me know you know if you got 100 you still don't have it cars getting tripped up by this cyclist again they have a cycling lane so i'm actually going to report this one um so it's good to be cautious though you know it's hard the car has to be really careful around pedestrians and i really uh, appreciate and respect that so um what is this Ooh, this will be new all right let's get up to this left turn and then we'll call it there Wants to turn left up here. I don't think it's gonna. Well, let's see. You gonna do it or what? Not sure where the left turn even is. Yeah, wait for the cone. There you go. I did not do that, so it did wait for the cone. And then, oh, it missed. So it's supposed to turn right back there. So we've missed that before. Um, so I'm gonna take over. Oh, okay, it rerouted. My bad. Um, yeah, it's missed that before. So it's supposed to go right down there, and it just didn't do it. So let's let it finish up here. It usually makes kind of a goofy mistake at this point um, with these cones. Let's see. Yeah, see, it tries to turn there and then goes back. I don't know why it does that, but oh well. First impressions, 10.2. We're getting there. It's getting better. It'll keep rolling out. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next video. No, no, don't do that. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along. 